Hey guys, I Dubai Self here, and earlier today Apple released iOS 10.3 worldwide. And there's always been a myth that with every new software update, Apple makes the older iPhones slower. So in this video, I wanted to test an iPhone 5C and an iPhone 5, which have the same internals, to see if iOS 10.3, which is installed on this one, as you can see here, 10.3, runs better than 10.2.1, or is it real? Is the myth real? Does Apple intentionally make devices slower with new updates? So people are forced to update to the latest hardware. We're going to test that in this video. Okay, so first I'm going to boot up both devices at the same time on the count of three, both power buttons here. One, two, three. There they go. So let's go ahead and wait for the boot up and see which one boots up faster. Again, the one on the right is running iOS 10.3, the latest released today, and this one's running 10.2.1. So let's go ahead and wait for the boot up. Okay, so it looks like iOS 10.3 officially booted up faster than 10.2.1. Again, both of these devices have the same internals, so it looks like 10.3 takes the first round. So now let's do simple tasks, like going into the multitasker. Double tap in the home button at 1, 2, 3. Ooh, it looks like 10.2.1 did that faster. Let's do that again. 1, 2, 3. One more time. Okay, about the same speed going into the multitasker. All right, so I have three apps here on my screen. One is for the speed test on the network, so we can test the network here and see uh, which one uh, loads the network faster, gets faster speed. I'm going to test uh, the iOS 10.3 first, and then we'll do 10.2.1. So let's go ahead and wait here for 10.3. All right, so we're 11 down and 12 up, 12.44. Now the iPhone running iOS 10.2.1. All right, so it looks like it's 14 down on iOS 10.2.1 on the iPhone 5. And I want to say close to 12 up. So pretty similar results here. Uh, a little bit higher on the downloads for iOS 10.2.1, but that may vary depending on your network connection. Okay, so now I've quitted all applications from running in the background. As you can see there, nothing's running. Uh, both devices are going to go through a Geekbench score test. And just to show you, the internals are identical for those who are wondering. Right there it is, the memory, the processor, and the OS, which is the different thing here that we're testing. 10.3 uh, on this side, 10.2.1. We're going to go ahead and run a test. Let's go. All right, so after seven minutes, it looks like iOS 10.3 came in first once again. 744 single core, 1226 multi-core score. Still waiting on 10.2.1. Let's see what the scores will be on this device. Uh, slightly lower on iOS 10.2.1. So actually, iOS 10.3 is performing better on the iPhone 5 so far. All right, so once again, closing out all applications, launching a game in 3, 2, 1. Let's see what happens here. Again, iOS 10.3 appears to be loading this faster, and yes, indeed, by a few seconds, but it did load the game faster on 10.3. Both iPhone 5, well, they're still loading here, so let's just uh, wait for the official uh, screen here for the game. Let's see which one. Yep, 10.3, slightly uh, faster by a few seconds. So it appears that 10.3 is doing a lot better than 10.2.1, at least on this test. Now let's do a quick Safari test here to load Apple.com to see both devices here again. 10.3 on the right, 10.2.1 on the left. One, two, three. And they're off. iOS 10.3 by a few seconds faster as well. So let me go ahead and lock both devices and see which one unlocks faster. So one, two, three. About the same time. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. About the same. So it appears, in my opinion, that iOS 10.3 came in a little faster than 10.2.1. So the myth that Apple intentionally uh, makes hardware uh, slower, I don't believe that's the case. I just believe that Apple uh, comes up with new ideas for software, and the hardware wasn't in mind when those new ideas for the software were implemented. So eventually it leaves the hardware behind. It happens with a lot of things, not only Apple, but other companies as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you learned anything and found it helpful, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. It's your night device help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.